Okay, so when you're first logging into M3, you are going to select the company that you're gonna enter invoices for. So either here for company level invoices or the very bottom level for property level invoices. So property level invoices are things that people at the property level are gonna be entering that don't have access to company level and you um, don't want them to see things that would go on the balance sheet um, or that sort of item. I'm gonna to go to company level. So we're gonna to go to accounts payable. So the modules are gonna be listed right here on this column to the left. So I'll choose accounts payable. All right, the first screen that it opens to is gonna be your vendor screen. This bottom half of the page is gonna list all of your vendors in alphabetical order. So this drop down up here is also gonna be your vendors and you can start typing to find a specific vendor that you're looking for. If you wanted to enter a new vendor, you would go to new and type in the vendor name and address. You can also use a default GL code. So every time you create a new invoice for this vendor, it's going to automatically be coded to this GL account. And this description right here is going to be what actually prints on the check. So if you have like a vendor account number or um, an account ID that would help them apply the payment to your account, that's where you would put that in the description right here. So if you were going to enter a new vendor, you do new, type in all that information and hit save. We're gonna to go to the invoice tab. This is where you enter new invoices. So automatically when you go to this screen, it's gonna show pending invoices. There aren't any pending right now. So I'm gonna to go to show. These are all the different formats an invoice can be in. So pending means that you can still edit it, you can delete it, and it's like it never happened. Posted, it's committed to the GL, it can be paid, only a posted invoice can be paid. Um, and it can't just be edited at that point. Once it's posted, you have to actually void it if um, it's an error, and then it would have a reversing entry, and that would be like a footprint in your accounting system. Partially paid, so if you need to partially pay an invoice, paid or voided. So if we go to view all, we can see all of the invoices for this vendor, you can sort by invoice number, you can sort by amount. So if you just click on any of these um, titles, you can sort by that. Images right here means that an invoice was scanned in and you can actually click on that little oopsies or a little dot 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 button and see a picture of that invoice, which is really convenient. So anywhere in M3, if you run an aging report, if you run a trial balance, if you run your income statement, you can click down on a specific GL account number and say like, hey, what was that amount? I don't remember what was on that invoice. You can click on the images button and click down and see the actual picture of the invoice from anywhere in the system. So that is really helpful when you're reviewing your income statement or maybe your trailing 12 that you review each month. Um, you can see the individual invoices. If we go to show details, you can see the GL account number that it was coded to in the description. <laughs> We can see that all of these were paid and we can see the check number. We can see that all of the ones with a check over here to the far right have cleared the bank. And if we wanted to see the specific check, we could click show check. And then we could see the check number. If multiple invoices had been paid with this check, it would list them all here. And you can see that. All right, so that is how you view invoices and that you view history and accounts payable. Next, we will go over entering new invoices.